Hey guys, Richard here, and just got in out of the woods. It is deer season, and I, I was out, saw some deer. Anyway, uh, Dad didn't want to go out for an evening hunt, so I decided just to come on back home, make some more fishing lures, because why not? Uh, so I'm hunched down because I don't really want to mess with the camera angle, so I hope you guys don't mind me being all hunched over the workshop here. But somebody asked me a question, and of course... I'm doing this as for myself, really. I'm not. I'm not out here to make uh, an extra income. Whenever I bought the Fusion X kit, it came with this. This is the injector that it came with, and it's nice. I like it. It unscrews, and you basically pull the plunger out. Instead of undoing the front, you use a dowel to push out the, the plug, what's left over. So I got to shopping, and these were these are $20 off the Fusion X website. $20. Bucks. So Fusion X was on Amazon, and they still are. They put a few things on Amazon. Uh, but it's it's a rarity. At one time, they had a lot of stuff on Amazon. But I got on there, and I started looking at these, and I put in an in injector. And the injector popped up this guy, which is a injector that you use that has different tips on it that you would inject steak or, I mean, like a roast or turkey or whatever, and you would just inject your flavoring into meats with this. And I thought, well, you know what? That's an injector, that's an injector. Why don't I just see if this can work for 10 bucks, then I'll save 10 bucks. So here's what I did. Because somebody asked me how I made this. This is uh, basically what I did. I bought two of them because it worked. So this is basically the injector right here. And if I were to unscrew the modification I made and take this injector tip and screw it in, basically what I have is the meat injector in its truest form. And pretty much the same, but I needed that hole right there to uh, get the uh, plastics out. I can't inject of course this so I decided to use this I use this as a plunger to plunge out whatever but I ended up buying a uh, was I believe this is an eighth eighth coupler let me see what it says uh, Sungate solid brass adapter two pack one I believe this is a one eighth adapter so basically uh, I took this, which is threaded on both sides with the nut in the middle, and that's just a coupler to couple two lines together for your refrigerator, ice maker, uh, whatever, that type of plumbing. That gave me a decent enough sized hole, and I got some green, I got some green, there we go, alright, it gave me a decent enough sized hole, and it just so happened to fit perfectly right inside the meat injector so that gave me the hole I needed now this right here same o-ring same everything that the other injector has fits in there just like this and I like this one I use these more because and I'll, I'll explain to you why Okay, just hit it with a little oil. All right, so these, instead of unscrewing, you just, you put the plunger in and you take this red piece, slide it in, give it a twist, you're locked in. And then there you go. So the homemade injector I made is the same two ounce injector that Fusion X 
uh, will basically sell to you. Only this is a $10 version off of Amazon's meat injector and a two for like $3 uh, plumbing coupler. That gave me the hole I needed. So that's how I made that. There's no, there's no real secret to what I did here. All I did was uh, stumble across uh, one of these couplers in my garage and it just happened to fit because of course this is all stainless if you try to cut this off or drill it out you know it's just it, it takes a little more than just your average drill to make that happen so homemade injector works great i actually use these two more than i use the fusion x injector and it's nice to have three on hand whenever you're, you're doing this now i don't uh recommend that you do this if, if uh, you know, if you're gonna go full scale and buy like an eight cavity mold or whatever, you, this is not gonna work for you. But these single cavity molds, uh, you know, these these minnows and these single cavity, uh, these this two ounce injectors will even take care of this frog. So this frog, which is this guy right here, no problem at all for these injectors. Now. I can set up and run different uh, things and make stuff happen and do some cool stuff. Uh, I like these because they're small enough that if I get into uh, fine molds like this guy that have really fine points and tips to them, this right here, I can suck it up and really control the amount and like pencil it in there and just, you know, control the flow of the plastics going into these really fine uh, points uh, especially this one right here that guy I always have to trim that guy up <laughs> when I do it by hand but anyway somebody asked hey can you tell me a little more about your homemade version of that injector and absolutely uh, here it is uh, and of course you'll see in the other videos how it works and it works great and then just twist this give this a pull and then I use the tip that came with the uh, meat injector as my plunger to plunge out the plug that's left in the injector. So that's it uh, in a nutshell. Hope you guys enjoy that little tip. And if you're just a hobbyist, uh, you just want to make these in the garage by yourself and you don't want to spend 50 bucks on an injector. There you go. $10 injector off Amazon little dollar fifty two dollar tip and you're in business and i just use olive oil to lubricate that guy and then i have this uh this classic uh, crappie panfish i bought that uh, it has natural fish oils and anise oil and that works very well to lubricate the baits once i have them inside these packages as you can see here, you can kind of see the uh, the oil in there. But these guys are slippery as all get out, and they're just absorbing all of that, uh, all of this uh, this oil here. Now, of course, I grabbed the bag. I'm glad I grabbed this because I had a pearl white right there, and you can see that this this oil here has turned that pearl white. It turned it pink, and I'm cool with that. I don't really care. Uh, it'll still catch fish. And now that it's sitting and absorbing all this fish oil, it might catch fish even better. But uh, what I have noticed is that my worms, uh, they're kind of brown. They're natural color anyway. Uh, they retain their colors. Here's the uh, the five inch. These are the five and a halfs. And they worked out great. My uh, lures... Uh, my shads are retaining their color as well. And what else do we got? We got I didn't put any in there. Oh, here we go. So that's got all the, the fish oil in it. I, I don't know why it's red. Why they went with red. But uh, the chartreuse is kind of taking on the red. Uh, here's, of course... Here's another pearl that took on the red, but this is 
This is orange and blue lures anyway, so no biggie there. Uh, there's that. I didn't put any into the bubble gum, but uh, what I found was that if I don't put anything in here, uh, they tend to rub on each other and break. Um, so there's the frogs. I still need to catch a fish. I got a video for you guys. I still I'm waiting to catch a fish on these guys, and I've torn up. I've torn up these frogs trying to catch a fish so I can close the video out. <laughs> and I got these to go. I'm going to remelt these and turn those back into frogs. And we're going to catch a fish with one of these and I'll release that video. Uh, so there is that. So I might maybe one day sell these um, and get some worm oil. Before I sell these on eBay, I'm going to get some worm oil. Because I don't want, I don't want uh, this classic red oil bleeding into the colors like whenever i do a good batch of pumpkin you know i want it to i mean pumpkin when i do a good batch of bubble gum i want it to stay bubble gum i don't want it to turn reddish tint because i got some of that 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 lure attractant oil in it so i'll get some worm oil put in there and then i'll i'll sell these on ebay but that's if i ever get around to doing that anyway all right, well, hope you enjoyed the video. That's that. Uh, I just wanted to drop in with a quick, this is how I did it uh, on that injector. Answer a quick question. And you guys take care, and we will see you next time.